Hey everybody, Tech Trucker here today to show you how I make my own boards from sheets of wood. I prefer cutting my own boards for some scenarios because I don't like buying and storing tons of different sized wood. This method allows me the flexibility to size my projects any way I please. The materials and tools I'm using are a 3 32nd inch by 3 inch by 24 inch sheet of basswood, a pencil, a metal ruler, a utility knife, and a square. Basswood is a little denser, which makes it harder to cut, but much more durable. For this project, I need boards that are one half inch wide, which would equate to about six inches in a 1 12th scale. Use your square to mark half inch from the edge on both ends of the board. Use your metal ruler to line up the measurement marks and draw a straight line the length of the board. A quick word of caution. Make sure as you draw your line, you hold your ruler tight the entire length of the board so it doesn't slide out of position. And a helpful tip, watch where your fingers are positioned on the ruler. Ensure they won't impede the path of your pencil as you draw. When you're satisfied with your line, take your metal ruler and position it on your measurement line. Make sure it's lined up perfectly on both ends before you start cutting. Hold the ruler as tight as you can to the board, and using your utility knife, score the line lightly, making sure your knife remains on the line. You'll repeat this step several times until the knife finally cuts entirely through the board. Another word of caution. As was the case with the pencil drawing, you need to make sure the ruler is tight so it doesn't move off your measurement line. Any movement's going to cause your boards to be crooked. You could use a clamp to hold the ruler tight, but that's going to slow you down considerably. The first cut went with the grain of the wood, which is a rip cut. You can see that I am performing an additional cut of my board, which is across the grain. This is a cross cut. I only needed a small piece of wood to complete my project. If you've done your job right, you should have a perfectly sized board ready to use on your next project. You can sand the edges if you want, but if you followed the steps right, you really shouldn't need to. Cutting your own boards can be time consuming. I usually reserve this for parts of my project in which I hadn't planned my sizing prior to visiting the store, or I need a very unique size to meet my scale, or I don't need large quantities. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. This is my first of many tutorials I have planned for my channel, so make sure you subscribe below. And of course, thank you for watching.